Hi guys, um, this video is going to be looking at the German persecution of the Jews, um, also known as the Holocaust, which took place between 1933 and 1945. So that would be from the time Nazis come to power up until the end of World War II. Uh, again, this is just a quick revision um, for question 6, section D. So the first thing to uh, establish is that the Nazis believed that they were the superior race. They believed there was this thing called the Aryan race. And they particularly hated Jews. And the hatred of Jews is known as anti-Semitism. This um, word can come up in short answer questions. It can come up in short questions in section um, D as well. And if you're writing an account on the Holocaust or the persecution of the Jews, anti-Semitism is a key term that you need. Uh, so the Nazis used propaganda to paint the Jews as sub, um, in a subhuman light also. So persecution started as soon as they came to power. So in 1933, Jewish shops were boycotted and Jews were forced out of government jobs. They also had, um, their shops would be marked out. They would have a Jew written on it or they would have a Star of David uh, painted onto their the front of their shop. So then in 1939, uh, the situation got worse when the Nuremberg Laws were passed. The Nuremberg Laws stated that it was illegal for a German to marry a Jew. This took away citizenship from the Jewish people and it also just stripped them of their human rights within the country. Um, the next big event that we will be talking about would be Kristallnacht. So Kristallnacht means the night of broken glass and this, this took place on the 9th of November 1938. So on this night, Jewish shops and synagogues were destroyed. All the shop phones, the windows uh, of all the shops were destroyed. This is where it got the name the Night of the Broken Glass from all the shop windows that were destroyed. On this night, 91 Jews were killed. 30,000 were sent to concentration camps. And the Jewish population were fined 1 billion marks for the f damage that was done to their property by anti-Semites. Anti so um, 1939... World War II breaks out after Germany invade Poland. So uh, when they came into Poland, this is when um, the Star of David was introduced. Okay, So when the war broke out, Jews were made to wear the Star of David to make them more easily um, recognisable. Also, um, this is where when ghettos were getting set up. So ghettos were uh, an area where Jews were forced into. It was a walled off part of the city. And the food supply that came in there was controlled by the Nazis. One of the most famous of the ghettos is the Warsaw Ghetto. Uh, it was one of the most, one of the biggest. There are accounts that um, the food allowance for the people within the ghettos was something like 184 calories, which is completely insufficient to um, feed anybody. The next uh, part of the persecution of the Jews in World War II um, came from a group known as the Einsatzgruppen. So this was a special force of SS soldiers who killed hundreds of thousands of Jews during the invasion of Russia in Operation Barbarossa. After the invasion of, after the invasion of Russia and um, Operation Barbarossa, Germany decided to implement the final solution. So in 1942, uh, Germany adopted this thing, the final solution, and this was the planned extermination of all the Jews. It wasn't enough anymore just to get them out of Europe. It was now they wanted to kill them all. Okay? And the man in charge of it was Heinrich Himmler. And in order to do this, the Einsatzgruppen was not efficient enough to kill the Jews. So they came up with these killing factories known as extermination camps. And they were set up in Poland away from the eyes of the German people in places like Auschwitz, in Belzig, and in Treblinka. So um, in the concentration camps, or extermination camps, um, many Jews were gassed using the Zyklon B gas. Okay? They were also experimented on by a man called Joseph Mengele. Um, so to, to finish, um, overall, it's estimated that 6 million of the 11 million Jews within Europe were killed during World War II. So again, within this presentation, there are more than enough facts that you would be able to get full marks. If you were to mention all these things, you would get full marks in your um, account on the Holocaust.